Hello, Samu here. Welcome back. It's time for another video. And today I want to share something with you that might be interesting if you are a professional photographer or if you just want to know if you can shoot professionally with your X100F. And the short answer to that is yes, you can, but it depends on the shooting style. So just a little background story. Um, I'm not a full-time photographer. Um, I was at some point, but I transitioned to video and I'm now a filmmaker and DP and I mostly do DP work for other agencies and last year I started my own video production company so my main focus is really just video and making films. But I still get asked sometimes to uh, do photography but it's not my bread and butter so just to let you know. So in December I got hired from a video production company to shoot uh, stills and they got hired from an advertising agency and the agency got hired from a big brand who needed uh, some testimonial videos and the main focus was to showcase um, the daily lives of two influencers, two bloggers. I'm still not quite sure what they're doing but they have a quite a big following and so they needed a video and at the same time they needed stills that they can use for social media. And why did I choose the X100F? Um, if you are shooting next to a video production and they are recording sound, you want the quietest camera you can get and what better camera than the X100F. And it was perfect for that because it has the electronic shutter of course, so it's absolutely silent. Let me show you just for fun. Um, I also brought along my 5D and I used this for some outdoor shots where I needed more reach. And I have here my 100mm macro lens. Just listen to this. This is just too loud. But with the X100F, even with the mechanical shutter, I mean, it's really quiet. So, electronic shutter, big plus. So what else did I bring to the shirt? I had my X100F and I also brought my Ricoh GR. And uh, I just used this as my a BTS camera for behind the scenes pictures and I also have this uh, wide angle adapter lens and this gives me a 21 millimeter uh, full frame equivalent field of view I think yeah we were shooting in tight spaces so um, it's always nice to have a good uh, BTS cam and yeah let's go through the pictures and I show you what I've learned Da -da. Okay, so first of all, I had a really nice iMac here, uh, 27 inch, nice display and so on, but unfortunately the display broke down on me. I have a faulty display now, I can't use it. So it's on the floor now and I have to use this Samsung monitor, which is not so nice for color grading and editing photos, but that's what I have to use now. The first scene was in the basement. We had really uh, low light and what we did was we put a light outside in front of the window to get some extra light. And because this was such a tight space, I used my Ricoh GR for the behind the scenes images with my 21 millimeter adapter so I get a, a nice field of view. So first images, just some dog action. And as you can see, the dog was really um, yeah, really a good actor actually. She did everything that we told her to do. Yeah, really fun times. I shot everything in Astia, but later in post I changed it to Velvia and turned down the saturation a bit. And I really like this picture here. I think this was also taken with the 35mm f2. And you can see that's uh, enough uh, out of focus background. Um, yeah, it's, I think it works nicely. Next scene, we went upstairs into the living room. Here are some images from this scene. I think my favorites are this and this here. And this is just to show that uh, they are entering the living room and they are now going to make themselves comfortable, play with each other. I found this mirror here on the wall and I thought it was interesting just to show a reflection of the living room. Moving on to the living room, we are now on the sofa. This shows like the day is over um, and she is now on the sofa relaxing with her dog and with a cup of tea. And of course I also brought my TCL uh, converter. 
the way I shot was that I um, had my X100F without uh, the lens hood, so it was completely open. And most of the time I would hold my converter lens on my, in my left hand and shoot with my right hand. And every time I needed the extra range, I just put the uh, converter on the cam and then I shot my 50 millimeter shots. And this gave me enough flexibility because most uh, editorial photographs are 35 millimeter or 50 anyways. So this, is, this works perfect. And if I don't use the converter, I just yeah, unscrew it and I was ready to go. For the next scene, we went outdoors to the nearest river. For me, this was the coldest day in this year or last year. Here's a frame of me um, holding my 5D and having my X100 around my neck. And I, I was really afraid that my X100 would get too cold and would not work properly. And so I hide it under my um, jacket uh, often. But it, it worked fine. I had my 5D for the tele shots and my X100F was more for the behind the scenes shots because here I knew that I needed some shots far from, from a distance. Okay, this was the first day. The next day we had the different influencer to shoot. Also a blogger, has a big following on Instagram and she is known for her colorful apartment and plants and really colorful lady and it was a lot of fun to shoot her apartment because it was so photogenic. First we were shooting in this hallway and again we bounced some light uh, off the walls. Here I could have used the continuous autofocus but uh, it's a bit slow to be honest so I was pre-focusing on a certain distance and waiting for her to step in the right distance. Next scene we have uh, her entering the apartment and uh, there was not much light and so this entrance here was so dark that I could not shoot this with uh, natural light. Uh, the way I shot this scene was to use a flash and I used this flash to bounce off uh, another room that was right next to her. That gives us the impression of natural light coming in. So I used this uh, wireless transmitter from Fodix and this is actually for Canon, but it works really well on the Fuji as well. And let me quickly demonstrate how it works. I just turn off the camera, make sure everything is on uh, manual. Um, and the flash I use is the is a cheap one from Yong Nuo, but they're actually really good. I used them since 2012, I think, so they lasted me a long time. Uh, you can see it doesn't have a LCD, but you can change the output here. Really easy to use. I also have here um, some color gels in case I want to shoot in a different color. Really handy. And this gave the impression of some window light coming from the other room. I actually like this the best because here I ask her to do one step and I will tell her like uh, welcome home or something so that she can smile and say hi and here I am. And again, I really like Fujifilm's colors and they look so natural and still colorful. So perfect for editorial work. Uh, the next scene was this wash machine scene. She also had to put some clothes into the wash machine and this was uh, really difficult to shoot simultaneously because we had the whole crew standing next to her. So I had to wait until the camera guy got his shots and then I had a few minutes, actually just two minutes I think, uh, to shoot my pictures. So now we are going to the living room and the living room is just filled with plants and uh, you can see a lot of uh, bright colors and really photogenic place so it's not difficult to get some nice shots here and the first scene was just her sitting with her laptop showing like a, a work situation maybe she's writing a blog post or something like that and now we have this planned situation here and here I switched between the TCL and the 35 because I wanted to have the whole scene and also some close-ups of the hands and stuff. So the video camera guy finished here and I told her to just fool around with the plant and she did something like this and I don't know if they are going to use it, but I think it's a fun image. Now her son is coming back home from school and we have a situation here where he was playing outside and he is all dirty and his clothes are dirty. So, and because the video crew was shooting first, 
and I couldn't use my flash of course. I had to wait and shoot after the video crew shot their scene. Uh, so here I just let them play the whole scene and I just took the best shots I could get. And at the end I just said, just pose, just stand still. Show me a situation where you, the boy, knows exactly that he is covered in dirt and maybe the mom is like, what did you do? So he did this kind of gesture here and I think it's quite funny actually. Now the next scene was quite interesting because here it's all about the two of them having a nice time together, wrestling on the bed, throwing pillows and stuff. So, and here we had a problem. I set up my flash and I took my uh, X100. I'm an EVF shooter, right? So I like to see what I'm getting. But because I had to close my aperture and um, choose a high shutter speed, the EVF was super dark and I couldn't see anything. So after realizing that I can't see them, I was a bit panicking, and, but then I noticed I have an OVF, right? And of course, now I can cl clearly see, I can see clearly now. what's happening. So this was really a lifesaver for me. Here I couldn't use the flash because they were um, running through the whole apartment. So I had to crank up the ISO, the shutter speed and try to get uh, sharp images. <laughs> Some images I asked them to pose, to stand still, and I think you can see it. I wish I had a bit more time here, but I think I got like five minutes, and then we had to shoot the next scene. Uh, last and final scene is this situation here. They are now really exhausted, they are now on the sofa, and we have a nice cuddling uh, book reading scene here. You can see the light is a bit warmer here and that is because I used a color gel for my flash. But I also turned on uh, the light on the ceiling, uh, which had a warmer temperature. This was the final shot and uh, the whole shoot was super fun. I learned really a lot about the X100F and how to use it in a stressful situation. And I think the quality is really good. So the colors of the Fuji are like really good for this kind of work. If you want to see the finished video of these shoots, um, I will link them in the description box. Hopefully this was useful to you. If you have any questions, then of course leave them in the comments. And I guess I see you in the next one.